Okay, well, we finally made progress. We got through probably the hardest puzzle in the game. Cool. Okay. Okay. Okay, I got the square unlocked. Now I gotta get... What is the duck? Duck is one. With any luck, oh, I just opened I've the just, in the dining car. Oh, I finally got it. I don't know. What did I do? I did something. Okay, so I need one more to get the eagle. Hopefully I got the stove. Please tell me there's goodies in here. James Thurston. Oh? I hereby agree to pay James Thurston... Sum of nine hundred dollar of nine dollars a week, plus room and board in return for his services as the engineer of my train. Oh, okay, so we got. Okay, so James Thurston. Okay. Okay, tell them about that. Still have to do. Still have. Still have to do that. I'm done. Haven't done that yet. I'm done with that. Can't check that off yet. Still have to do that. Haven't done that yet. Okay, we're making progress. I'm happy with making progress. Hey, how's it going? I think yeah. I know the name of Jake Hurley's engineer. James Thurston. Great. What else do you know about him? Well, nothing. Good. Good? Yeah, finding out more about him will give us something to do. We'll look into it. Cool. See you in a bit. Sounds good. More questions? I should get going. All right, then. Okay, so nothing. I'm guessing the other weight is in that locked box that I need the key for. And the key is probably in the piano. Would be my guess. The key is probably in the piano that goes to that box. And then the last slug is in there. What's going on? It's been great talking to you. Don't mention it. Let's just try to see what happens. Carbide. Oh. Just what I need to make that lamp I found work. Oh. I had no idea. Good thing I came over here. What lamp did I find? I can't take it right now, can I? So I'm thinking there's a key in the piano that goes to that box and the last slug is in that box. That's my guess. Lamp did I find? Hello? Hi, Bess. Hey, what's going on? How about a 
hint. You bet. I still don't have all the gemstones. I found a piece of music. The paint. There's just uh. Never mind. Okay. Bye. I know how I'm supposed to do all these. Um. I understand the puzzles. It's just getting to those puzzles. Add anything, guys? Hey, how's it going? Were you able to find anything out about Jake's engineer? That James Thurston guy? Good news and bad news. The good okay. news is he had a wife in Copper Gorge, so he may have had children. The bad news is our internet service provider stopped providing before we could use our cell phones to find out anything else. That's okay. We can do more checking when we get to Copper Gorge. Right. Oh, are we finally getting there? Oh dear. Listen, you by any chance get here on that private train what's parked out yonder? As a matter of fact, yes I did. There's a rumor going around that Charlena Purcell's on board. Is that true? As a matter of fact, yes it is. Hot dang if that don't beat all. I've read every single book that gal's ever written. Best writer what ever lived. Did she get off the train too? I don't think so. She's pretty busy. Charlena Purcell herself right here in Copper Gorge. Breathing the same air as me. Hot dang! Well, welcome, little missy. Go on in and take a gander at what life was like during the heyday of Copper hmm. Gorge whilst you sample some of our delicious homemade saltwater taffy. Sample? As in free sample? Some taffy on a stick will cost you two tokens, which you can get by winning both those games over there. Are they hard? Dang, if I know. Come to think of it, I've never played them. But you're getting me off track here, Missy. Fact of the matter is, they're free. Uh, Unless you go uh -huh. missing with the artifacts I got in here. Do that, and you'll be head first in the nearest snowdrift before you know what hit you. Where'd all these artifacts come from? Been in the family for years. For centuries, in fact. See, Buell was my great great uncle. This oh. building used to be his general store. During the glory days back in the 1880s, he commenced a pawn brokering. So the miners Copper Gorge was crawling with back then could raise some cash to pay for grub and tools and such. But pretty soon, the mining boom went bust. And there was Uncle Butte, stuck with a whole store full of junk. Only it wasn't junk to him. Debris from lost lives and broken dreams, what he called it. Couldn't bring himself to get rid of it. So he passed it on to his kin. My great granddaddy's the one who come up with the idea of turning the place into a tourist attraction. Okay. Do you by any chance have any of Jake Hurley's things in here? Jake who? Hurley. He was a miner. I think he may have left a lamp and a pickaxe with your great great uncle. Never heard of him. Of course, that don't mean his stuff's not here. Just means you're just gonna have to look around and see for yourself. But remember, Susie Q, don't touch. Okay. It was fun talking to you. I'll bet it was. This looks just like the insignia I saw on the train. Oh. I'll bet this was Jake's trunk. And if there's the thing trunk, that goes in the on it. And lamp that I need are inside. You ain't touching anything over there, are you, missing? Oops, I better go ask permission before I mess with this. Okay. Let's look around some more. Can't go over to the smiley faces. Oh, these are games. like to get some taffy on a stick I'm going to need two different tokens 
Okay. You still here? Do you know what's in that old trunk over there? What? You ain't been fooling with it, have you? Oh, no, of course not. No, I just thought it might contain the lamp and pickaxe that I asked you about before. Well, if it does, you can forget about them, because it's locked. None of my kin have ever been able to figure out how to open it. Not even my cousin Alvin. And he went to junior college. Uh, oh, oh, okay. Would it be okay if I tried to open it? Well, now, I certainly ain't gonna let you break it open if that's what you're getting at. Oh, no, I would never use force, believe me. But in order to try to get it open, I would have to, you know, touch it. Nope, sorry, not gonna happen, little missy. Unless. Unless? Tell you what, you get Charlene a Purcell to come in here so's I can shake her hand, and I'll let you fiddle with that trunk till the cows oh, come home. Oh, boy. You know what? I've got a better idea. Now, what could be better than me coming face to face with the lady who writes the finest literature this here country's ever seen? Well, that's just it. If you were to just meet her, you'd have nothing to show for it. Afterwards, she'd go her way and you go yours, and that would be it. But if you were to, say, get her autograph, well, then you'd have something to hang on the wall hmm. and brag about. Okay. Make it so's I can meet her and get her autograph. Oh, but the thing is, she's on a deadline, and if you take her away from her writing, she may fall behind. And if she falls behind, her publisher may pull the plug. And if her publisher pulls the plug, it could ruin her career. Mm. Do you really want to risk ruining Charlena Purcell's career? Good heavens, of course not. All right, you just get me Charlena's autograph, and you got a deal. Just make sure she uses my name. I want it real personal like. You bet. And your name is? Fatima, with an F. None of that weirdo pH stuff. Okay, Fatima, I'll be right back. Man, she's got quite the personality. Taffy Kitchen, okay. I did not mean to head that way, turn around. Is this the way out? More questions? I met a huge fan of yours in town who'd really, really like your autograph. An autographed picture would be even better. Imagine that. Me having fans way out here in the boonies. Well, I'm sure I have a picture around here somewhere. But what I don't have is a pen. Usually I just ask my assistant for one. I have a pencil here somewhere. A pencil won't do, dear. It has to be ink. See if you can borrow a pen from somebody. Ugh. More running around. You got a pen? By any chance? What's up? I really, really need a pen. Could I borrow one from you? Sorry. I won't keep you any longer. Pleasure talking to you. What's going on? Do you by any chance have a pen I could borrow? Why, I'm surprised at you. Don't you know that every detective should carry a pen? Actually, I carry a pencil. Well, as it happens, I got lots of pens. I'll tell you what, if you can play that Leapin' Lizards game I found over there and do better than I did when I played it, which shouldn't be that hard seeing as how smart you are, I'll give you a uh, pen. What do you say? All right, pu more puzzles. All right. Sounds good to me. Okay, the object of the game is to get rid of as many lizards as you can by jumping them with other lizards until you can't jump anymore. Last time I played, I wound up with just five lizards. If you can wind up with only four, the pen's yours. Okay.
You lost. Guess you're oh, not so man. smart after all. Try again. Sure. sure. This is a weird game. Lost again. One more time. Sure. Sure. I'm apparently no good at this game. You lost again. One more time. Oh, okay. Sure. I'm trying to get it. I'm trying to get it.
I did it. I did I it. Oh my Talk god, I did it. Luck. Here's your pen. I don't know how I did that. What else can I do for you? Hope I didn't take up too much of your time. Helping people is what I'm all about. It took me like half an hour. I somehow. Oh my god, that was so infuriating. I spent a good half an hour trying to figure that out. Have you found a pen so I can autograph that picture? I got it from Tino. You can keep it. If you could have it say, to Fatima, that'd be great. There you go. Anything cool. else? I'll let you get back to your writing. That would be nice. Okay. Hey, Nancy. Oh, oh, hey. There you are. We've been looking for you. Yeah, you won't believe the lucky break we caught. Lucky break? Hey, that was the result of good old-fashioned detective work. It was the result of your insisting we stop for a cheeseburger. Mm. Guys, what's going on? Yeah. Well, it turns out that a grandchild of Jake's engineer still lives around here. What's more, he hangs out at the local diner. Comes in every day. Apparently, he's pretty ancient. Uh-huh. Ah, and you found that out when you stopped there so Joe could get a hamburger. Cheeseburger. The thing is, the owner of the diner wouldn't agree to point the guy out unless one of us fills in for a short order cook. He's got to go home and wait for the cable guy or something. And since Joe here barely knows how to boil water, guess who got the job? Way to go, Frank. Oh, and get this. Balducci convinced Lori that Jake's mine is somewhere right here in Copper Gorge, so he, Lori, and John Gray are hiking up the mountain out there even as we speak. Like that bumblebrain's gonna find anything. Sounds like mm -hmm. now might be a good time to do some serious poking around on the oh, train. Oh, yeah. Good thought. Hey, I better get going. Wish me luck. I'll go with you. You can make me a cheeseburger. Oh, my God. The cheeseburger. Okay. I want to do the taffy stuff. Um, Got but that let's... autograph? Got something yep. better. An autographed picture. Hot dang! She spelled my name right and everything. Go ahead, little missy. Have a go with that trunk. Whatever's inside, it's all yours. Great. Hmm, this indentation looks familiar. Yep, it's this. Oh, do I have to do the same? What fits here? I have to do the same order, don't I? Okay, what was it? Orange. Green. Red. Purple. Yellow. That didn't do it. Oh no, do I need more info? Is it this one? There we go. What happens? And I lose. Okay. So this is like a game of chance. I'm going to go for 11 again. <laughs> and 
I lose? Okay, eventually the yellow one will win. going to keep doing it. I know it's kind of a stupid strategy, but eventually yellow has to win. Fooey. Okay, fine. This time I'll pick a different one and then <laughs> let's go with red this time. Let's mix it up. I have no idea. I feel like it's just a random game. Loser. Let's try white. <laughs> We're gonna try them all eventually. Fooey. All right, let's just try blue. It's not gonna happen. It's not going to, but... Yeah, green's gonna win now. Apparently red. Loser. Let's try green again. I have no idea how to get the right horse. This is the first time yellow actually won. Loser. What the hell is this? Okay, this game is weird.
Aw, oh, man, I almost got there. This is just stupid. I need the taffy. Okay, I guess I should just look up. Do I need the taffy? Jeez. I'm gonna look up, do I need the taffy? Oh, there's a thing over here. Okay, we're just gonna go back to the train because I want to snoop. It's time to do some sleuthing. We get stuff from those two places. We're gonna go sleuth and snoop. And then we'll go to the cemetery. I guess that's the cemetery? I hope it's the cemetery. Yes, he's not here. Can I snoop? I can't snoop. Well, that sucks. But I can't do- but I can do- Camp Town races. Okay. I know about the sharps and flats, but there aren't any sharps and flats with Camp Town. Always not being that gap, but yeah, these are just regular. Yeah. G G E G A G E E D F E. No. E E D. F E D C. You can't even click on the black keys. Okay. Oh, it finally did it. Oh, it's a spy glass. A spy glass. I bet it's the one I need yeah. for Jake's projector. Yeah, I did it. Okay. It's locked. I still don't have a key for that. I thought there was going to be a key in there, but there wasn't. Okay, let's go to the super suspicious guy's place. The guy I'm super suspicious of. I wonder if he's got anything interesting. 
No, I got the stuff from that. Interesting, there's nothing really else to snoop around with. Okay, remove the stone. That. That's in the cigar. Yep. Uh, figure out how to open the trunk that's in the taffy house. Can't check that off yet. Give the autograph. I gave her that. that. Take the pen. I'm Play and win. Check. Yep. Ask around the train. See everybody. Yep, check. I did that. Um, Check. yep. I'm done with that. I'm done with that. Finish that. I'm done with that. Haven't done that yet. Finish that. Okay, so go to the cemetery and find her grave. Cool. Can't check that off yet. Okay, so I got those two things. Cemetery. Oh, yes. what? You startled me. Do you work here? I do. Are you okay. For uh, yes, Camille Hurley. She died back in the 1800s. Ah, Camille. Beautiful crypt. Wonderful view. Good drainage. Whoever buried her must have loved her very much. May I go inside? <laughs> okay, you're you not may, creepy. But unfortunately, you can't. Why not? I accidentally dropped the key down the grate that's in front of the crypt. If you can retrieve it, you can keep it. I'm having another one made. But if you do go into the crypt, just remember, you won't no. be alone. All right. Well, there's the key. I just need to find something that key will stick to. So I do need the taffy. I'll never get that key at this rate. It's locked. Okay, so I need I do need the taffy. I don't know, I guess I just keep clicking on them till I get lucky. Loser. I have a feeling this is just one of those RNG things. Okay, so I just keep doing it till I win. There's no... It's just RNG. Oh shit, did I win? I actually did it. That was luck. Cool. Okay, I got that one. So I just need gold rush. Oh boy. Boy, this is an unfortunate run. really close.
Yay, I did it, I did it, I did it. Woohoo! All right. Tappy on a stick. Hey, yep. maybe I could use this to fish the crypt key out from under that grate. Precisely. You still here? It was fun talking to you. Ditto, little missy. Something tells me I better not go in there without my Oh, permission. wrong door. I just need to find something that key will stick to. Oh, right, there we go. Gotcha. All right, into the crypt. Speaking of Into the Crypt, let's save. I hadn't saved in ages. Ooh, okay, puzzles. What's here? Okay, four pillars. In the letter he wrote to his niece, Jake said she should go to Camille's grave and let Camille's goodness rub off on her. Rub as in rubbing, maybe? That's if what I, I was thinking. If I to make rubbings of these pillars, I'll need a pencil, which I already have, and some nice thin paper. Hmm. Okay, so I'm gonna need paper. Maybe making a rubbing would help. Yep. Hmm. This indentation looks familiar. Huh? Oh, copper. Oh, okay, copper. Okay, so I need to know the copper. Uh... Oh! Oh, it's giving me the right... See you. Okay, here we go, here we go, okay. I need copper. Shoot, what was... What is copper? P.B. I know this is periodic table. I'm just gonna pull up a periodic table instead of running back to the, uh... I was never good at chemistry. So we need lead and copper. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and just write all of these down, uh, because it might be crucial to puzzles later on. Um, so I'm just going to write them all down. Okay, so the thing on top of the, uh, of her, uh, grave said copper, so we need to do CU, which is copper on the periodic table, so we'll grab this. Put it on here, and we need to do green, red, purple, yellow, orange, blue. Oh my. <gasps> Another one. I didn't know we needed another one. Oh. And then I have to get stuff to etch on those. Okay, maybe, maybe she'll have paper. It's a taffy shop. Welcome back. It was fun talking to you. I'll bet it was. Okay, well, we got another. You still here? Pleasure talking to you. Ditto, little missy. Oh, wait, no, I can open this now. I should be able to. I need to match that shape. 
I know that. My, I don't know which... Wrong thing. I don't know which... Um... Which thing I need? Wait, is it in the letter, maybe? Oh, isn't it lead? Yeah, it's lead. That's the code, it's lead. Okay, so that's red. Green. Blue. Orange. Yellow. And then purple. Well, here's Jake's lamp. Hooray. Another oh, slug. yay. Could come in handy. Definitely. Where's his pickaxe? Ugh. Pickaxe isn't here. Okay, I guess we have to ask about the pickaxe. Maybe. You're still here? Have you by any chance ever come across a pickaxe that had the initials J.H. carved into it? Why? Because it used to belong to Jake Hurley, and I really, really need it. I thought it would be in that old trunk, but it wasn't. You got that trunk open? Wait till I tell Cousin Alan. He thinks he's so smart. Mm. As for that pickaxe, so happens I got it upstairs in my kitchen. Okay. Use it to open the coconuts Aunt Lucy sends me every year from Hawaii. Do you think uh. I could have it? <laughs> Why, no, you can't have it. How would I open them coconuts? Uh... <sighs> but your great great uncle, do you really think Buell would approve of you using something that belonged to some poor miner to open coconuts? Oh, okay, I'll let you have the pickaxe after you do something for me. Sure. sure. I got a bunch of taffy over there, what needs sort? Just follow the directions that are posted by the machine. Them belts get moving pretty fast, so you gotta keep your wits about you. While you're doing that, I'll fetch that pickaxe. You got a deal. Where is the sorting? Oh, do I have to go through the door? Okay, I'm gonna save again. Why do I have a feeling? Wax paper for the taffy. Would you mind if I took a piece of wax paper? Guess I could let you have a piece. Cool. Okay, so I got that for that. Oh boy, I have to sort them. Oh boy. What is this? Is this strawberry? Blueberry. Apple. No, apple. Where's this? Where is this? What is this? Banana. Strawberry. Oh man, what the heck? Banana. Is that... No, where's mango? Oh boy. This can't be too hard. What is that? I can't tell what that is. Thank you. 
Oh, I did it. I did it. Got that taffy sorted? No problem. That was easy. You sneak any freebies while you were at it? Oh no, no I would never do that. <laughs> well, ain't you the goody two shoes? Truth is, wouldn't have minded too much if you had. Long as you fessed up to it. Here's the pickaxe. Crack the handle pretty bad on the last batch of coconuts. Oh, sure no. you won't. Positive. There you go. Don't hurt yourself. I won't. Thank you. Okay. Go back and get the rubbings. 